Another important structure in the cell is nucleus. It has a double layer covering and that is known as nuclear membrane. Nuclear membrane has pores which allows the transfer of material from inside the nucleus to outside. So nucleus is within the cell and it controls the activity which is happening in the cell. Now nucleus has a outer covering and that is known as nucleus membrane and that will permit the material which will comes in and goes out. So nuclear membrane has pores which allows the transfer of material from inside the nucleus to outside. Nucleus contains chromosome. So nucleus has chromosomes and they have rod shaped structure and they are visible only when cell is about to divide. We will see more information about chromosome after this. So they are having chromosomes and they have rod shaped structure. Nucleus plays important role in cellular reproduction and determines cell development, maturity of the cell and all the types of chemical activities. So basically nucleus will direct the cell to perform activities when the cell will about to mature it will direct cell division and it will help in cell division. So in and around what all activities happening within the cell is directed and controlled by the nucleus. Now within the nucleus chromosomes are there. They are rod shaped structures. They contain information for inheritance of characters from parents to the next generation in the form of DNA. So they have all this inheritance information but in the nucleus they are in the form of DNA and full form of DNA is deoxyribonucleic acid. So in the form of DNA they are storing the information which is about inheritance of characters from the parents to the next generation. Chromosomes composed of DNA and protein. So these two things will be there inside the chromosomes that is DNA and protein. What is DNA? It contains the information for the construction and organization of the cell. Now functional segment of DNA is genes. So how the DNAs are working? It is based on the genes. So the functional segment, the thing which is working for the DNA is a genes. Now what is a DNA? So functional segment of DNA is a gene and full form of the DNA is deoxyribonucleic acid. Cell which is not dividing, the DNA present as a part of chromatin material. So when the cell is not dividing, then a DNA will be as a part of chromatin material. Chromatin material is visible as entangled mass of thread like structure. So something like this we have seen that that this entangled material we have seen and chromatin material will be easy visible as entangled mass of thread like structure. Whenever the cell is about to divide the chromatin material get organized into chromosome. So chromatin material will organized into chromosome and that's why Whenever the cell is about to divide, we will be able to see the chromosome. Otherwise, we will not be able to see the chromosome separately because it will be a part of chromatin material. So DNA's functional segment is gene and DNA is present as a part of chromatin material. And what is a chromatin material? Chromatin material is visible as entangled mass of thread like structure and Whenever the cell is about to divide, chromatin will organized into a chromosomes and then we will be able to see the chromosome. So within the nucleus, the nuclear membrane will be there which will permit the outside and inside movement of the material for the nucleus. Inside the nucleus, the chromosomes and DNA are there. DNA's functional segment is gene. Chromosomes are having all the special types of characteristics which are inheritance from the parents to the next generation. Now 
we will not be able to see the chromosomes until the cell will divide because the chromosomes will be a part of chromatin material and they will be organized in chromosome once the cell is about to divide. Nucleus is a control and coordination center of the cell who is take care of the cell division, all the chemical activities and maturity and cell division of the cell. Now based on the nuclear region differences, there are two types of bacteria and there are two types of organisms. They are having two different types of cells, prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell. The organisms which are having very very primitive cell structure, they are termed as prokaryotic bacteria. And the organisms which are having advanced cell structure with nuclear membrane and with well defined nuclear region and cell region, they are termed as eukaryotic cells or eukaryotic organisms. So the nuclear region will be poorly defined that there will be an absence of nuclear membrane. Earlier we have seen that nucleus is separated from the cytoplasm and other cell organelles with nuclear membrane. This membrane is responsible for the material movement and to separate the nucleus from other organelles. So here nuclear membrane will be absent in prokaryotic cell. Such undefined nuclear region containing only nucleic acid is called nucleoids. So into that there is no well defined nucleus space and they are having a nucleic acid and that is called nucleoids. So prokaryotic cells are having nucleoids. They do not have well defined nuclear membrane and nucleus but they are having nucleic acid and it is known as nucleoids. Lacking in nuclear membrane, they are termed as prokaryotes. Many functions performed by poorly organized cytoplasm. We know that within the cell, there will be a region where the nucleus will be there. That is a control center of the cell. This nucleus is controlling all the chemical activities and material movement and division activities of the cell. So that is control and coordination center of the cell. So that nucleus membrane will be absent which is allowing the material movement and that will be done by the nucleotes. So the fluid present into the cell that is cytoplasm and many function performed by poorly organized cytoplasm. The chlorophyll is one of the important organelle the chlorophyll is responsible for the photosynthesis process. Now that photosynthetic prokaryotic bacteria, the chlorophyll is with the membranous vesicles but not with the plastids. In coming topics, we are going to discuss the plastids and into the plastids, the green plastids are having the chlorophyll. But the prokaryotic bacteria which are having a primitive cell structure here, the chlorophyll is not with the plastids, but the plastid is with membranous vesicle. The cell which are having a nucleus membrane and well-defined nucleus region, they are known as eukaryotic cell. So advanced cell structure with all the important organelles and well-defined activities we can see in eukaryotic cell. Whereas prokaryotic cells are primitive cell structure and their cytoplasm is responsible for all the activities and that cytoplasm is poorly organized. Now let us see what is the basic difference between prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell. So the size of prokaryotic cell is 1 to 10 micrometer whereas size of eukaryotic cell is 5 to 100 micrometer. 1 micrometer equals to 10 raised to minus 6 meter. Now regarding nuclear region that we know that in prokaryotic cell there is an absence of nuclear membrane. Whereas in eukaryotic cell this is well defined and well advanced cell. The cell structure and nuclear region is well defined and it is surrounded by nuclear membrane. 
chromosomes count in prokaryotic cell is single so if they are having single chromosome in their cell whereas in eukaryotic cell more than one chromosomes are present here in prokaryotic cell membrane bound cell organelles are absent membrane bound cell organelles are absent and all the activities will be organized by a cytoplasm cytoplasm is also poorly organized but all those activities will be at very very primitive level because membrane bound cell organelles are also absent whereas here membrane enclosed or membrane bound organelles are present and there are various organelles to perform different function here eukaryotic cells are bigger than the prokaryotic cell and they are having well defined nuclear region more number of chromosomes and they are having well defined and membrane enclosed organelles to perform various function whereas in prokaryotic cell the cell size is very very small nuclear region is not defined all the activities will be performed by poorly organized cytoplasm and membrane bound organelles are also absent and more to that only single chromosomes are present into them Hope this video has solved your doubts and in coming videos we are going to learn some more important concepts. So don't forget to subscribe learn yourself. I'll see you in next video till then keep learning keep sharing.